Good evening, dear friends. Today is the 17th lunar day, which means your favorite TV show is back on your YouTube screens. But today, we will be discussing a very interesting and important topic. This concerns both beauty and health at the same time. For women, this will be interesting because today we will eliminate the second, third, and even fourth chin and restore the perfect oval of the face. I will show you an exercise that you have probably never seen before. With it, you can tighten this up. Misunderstanding that is located here. The mouth diaphragm is pulled up after this exercise. We will also eliminate facial swelling with you. We'll reinstate lymphatic drainage. Today, we will open the lymphatic ducts with you that were closed. Also, friends, this exercise is good because for those who don't care about beauty, who think they are beautiful enough, with what I'm going to show you, you can improve the condition of your brain, enhance its performance. Also, for those who have problems with chronic rhinitis, sinusitis, otitis infection, often ear issues. With what we will restore the lymph circulation, we will improve the condition of all these systems. So for the chronic infection in which you have accumulated, we will also destroy. So for our lovely female viewers, today we will learn how to make our face perfectly beautiful and eliminate the excess chin. And for the serious male viewers, we will also destroy sinusitis, otitis, sinusitis, other diseases with you today, friends. So, well, I can see the eagerness in your eyes to get started. You've put aside your spoons, even your mugs, right? But let's go! Bon appétit to everyone who is eating, and let's get started. There are two reasons why we might develop what's called a double chin. Right here, why it might form and grow. First, there are two components to this pathological process. The first part is swelling. Swelling that occurs due to impaired lymphatic drainage, blood flow, including venous. This is primarily a problem of muscle spasms. Several groups of muscles are to blame. This is the pectoralis minor muscle, well known to everyone. Under it are the lymphatic ducts. If this muscle shortens, if it stretches, loses its elasticity, then the lymphatic ducts are squeezed and everything starts to accumulate. This excess fluid, it starts to accumulate, but not only on the second chin, but also above the collarbone, in the neck area, on the face. Very often another sign of shortening of the pectoralis minor muscle is numbness of the hands. But at first, they will become numb at the moment. For example, when you throw your head back, put your hand, or in some position, when you read for a long time, some fingers may become numb, several fingers. Later on, when this muscle is significantly shortened, there may be constant numbness of the hands. That is, the first cause of swelling is precisely the shortening of the pectoralis minor muscle. The second is the shortening of the scalene muscles. Right here, this occurs. Against the background of weakness, most often of the sternocleid mastoid muscle and weakness of the neck muscles. In other words, we need to put the neck muscles and the chest muscles in order, in order to remove this swelling. Because part of the fluid will go away, the face will decrease, the width of the face will slightly decrease, and after you put these muscles in order. So, we have two components. The first is swelling, which we are talking about now, and the second is muscle weakness. The muscles right here, the so-called oral diaphragm. There are several muscles here that form the so-called oral diaphragm. Here is your jaw. This is a view from the inside. This is how we seem to look at your lower jaw. Here it is. Right here are yours. 32 teeth in place, yes. On the lower jaw, they are all yours. And on the upper one, also a couple more. So, the tongue here has risen for us. Here is the tongue frenulum. And right here is the so-called oral diaphragm, an area that is formed by a group of muscles. And when our lower jaw, for example, let's depict here, 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 here. So we are on the side. This is our nose. This is such a human profile. Did not fit. 
the jaw interferes, but we do not need it. Here we have here. We have an eye with you. Here is the ear. This is the nose. And here is our mouth. Yes, and this part, it can also weaken and sag like this. Imagine, that is, this whole group of muscles. Muscles can also stop working and thus sag a little here and our task is to lift it up with you. And so two things we need to work on are to eliminate swelling, improve lymph flow, and the appearance of venous blood. Primarily venous, primarily not arterial. It flows there well, swelling occurs just poorly. When, and secondly, we need to restore the tone of this group of muscles so that nothing sags here, so that there are no two, three, four chins that all of them disappeared, all they're tightened up. And so friends, although there is another option, but it is not suitable for all women. Of course, you can grow a lush beard here. This is a no second chin will be noticed. You, it will hide everything. But unfortunately, this is not suitable for everyone. Not everyone agrees to such a step. So we need to eliminate this misunderstanding. Let's start with you, with the fact that we will remove the swelling. How to remove it? First of all, we need to restore lymphatic drainage. Well, we need to restore this angle of the lower jaw so that it is clearly outlined for us, so that nothing extra accumulates here. Our lymphatic system is arranged in such a way that the lymphatic lymphatic ducts outflows, they gather here in this place. the violation that does not allow the lymph to go down from here. And first of all, we need to activate these two areas in front of the ear and behind the ear. Relax the tissues in front of and behind the auditory canal. It is very simple to do this. Friends, we take two index fingers with you. Or you can use the middle ones as you like and you just start to touch the skin here in front of your ear with your... Rub it in this way. Make an up and down movement. You can do it simultaneously. If your hands are not busy, if you have already put the spoon aside, put the glass aside and do this little exercise together. Let's do it. So we rub for 30 seconds. First, we rub in front of the ear with our fingers. Now behind the ear. Here, we have a mastoid process behind the ear, and we also start to rub this area up and down. Movements do not hesitate, the movements are energetic. With each movement, you become younger, more beautiful, healthier, shine. The sparkle in the eyes, the blush on the cheeks, the lymph has run through the vessels. Write in the comments how many years you have shed according to your feelings. After you started doing this, also do it for 30 seconds and then take it like this. Victory, two letters, two fingers, fingers, and start rubbing simultaneously in front and behind. From both sides, you can do this. Also do this for 30 seconds, that's all. 30 seconds are over. Take a little rest for a couple of seconds in this way. We have relaxed the tissues in front of and behind the ear and this will now give our lymph the opportunity to drain down easier. Right here, friends, we have the temporal muscle often in a tense spasmodic state and constant tension of this muscle causes excessive blood flow to it. Lymph flow and, and, and spasm disrupts outflow. That is, the muscle itself becomes as if swollen. It accumulates blood in itself and poorly gives it back, accumulates lymph. So we are considering with you this temporal muscle. It belongs to the masticatory muscle. We also need to relax it with you. Divide it into three parts with you. The first part is here in front of the ear. The second part is almost on the same line with the ear. And the third back part is behind the ear. Now we need here already, who has hair allows, who has short hair here on the side. You can also rub, who?
Massage tennis here is better to take because it can be quite painful, especially if it was not massaged before, so it's better to take something softer. Lie on your side, put the ball here, and found a painful point. Here, either you make a movement to the right, to the left, of course. You can do this near the wall, but near the wall, if it hurts a lot lying down, the weight of the head also presses on this muscle and work through all three parts of this muscle like this. This is for your future too, to align the jaw, because due to the uneven tension of this muscle, it also shifts slightly forward, slightly back. It can go away because the front or back part of it is tense. But for now, for lymphatic drainage, it's enough to just rub it. So, we also rub the middle part of this muscle for about 20, 30 seconds in this way, and the back part, right here, behind the ear, we also work this muscle for about 15 seconds. And then we massage it a little bit. There will be painful areas in it. Where there are painful areas, you can stop for a longer time. Also find places where the skin moves worse over this muscle because their adhesions appear between the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and the muscle itself, the fascia of this muscle. There appear to be such connective tissue bridges that do not allow the skin to move freely. This also leads to subsequent stagnation. After you work out the temporal muscle, this one here, you may feel a sensation of freshness in your head, as if fresh new blood has finally reached your brain. And the plus of this impact is that it also simultaneously improves hearing. To the ear area, blood rushes in. And those who have noise in their ears, you may also feel after this that it has started to change a bit. If it varies, do this frequently. That is, you see, we care not only about your beauty, but also about your health, including rumors. So, friends, we have worked through the temporal muscle. Next, we go down. We have freed up these ducks here. We're not going down yet. Grab your ear and pull. Pull your ears in different directions. Pull the latch, pull the top part of the ear. Pull the middle part of the ear, and especially pull the bottom part of the ear. Because in this place, very often, certain blockages also occur in the area of the auricle. Certain such places where lymph accumulates, thus, when you pull your ear, you activate movement through the lymphatic vessels. About 15-20 movements. Do it on each side. It can be quite painful, but normally there should be no pain. If you feel pain, do it a little bit softer, and repeat this more often until you stop doing it. Well, daily, until you stop feeling pain. So, moving on. Now we're going down here. We need to clear the channels. And here, here we have the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Behind it are the lymph and the scalene muscles. Here we are making these kinds of movements from top to bottom, along the muscle itself, and a little behind it. Here we are doing 20 movements on one side. They should be strong enough. That is, you are not just stroking your skin. You do it with pressure. You press and make movements. Muscle movement downwards improves your lymph flow, eliminates stagnation. You do the same on the other side. If you pay attention to the faces of people of different ages, they will differ not only in that. For example, there are wrinkles at 90, less at 40, none at 20. But also faces will differ in their shape, width, that is, water accumulates directly. Pay attention. Age-related changes are often associated with the fact that swelling on the face, the nose grows, the eyes decrease, the eyelids drop. This is all excess water that we are now removing with you. This is all excess water that accumulates in your head area, and even the hat that was given to you on your 18th birthday does not fit on your head now. Try to measure it later. It will go in with a whistle. And finally, the small pectoral muscle. The small pectoral muscle can be very well stretched in the doorway. We already know how to do this with you. But there are other ways. One of them is the activation of our rhomboid muscles in trapezius 
And in order to quickly relax the small pectoral muscle now, we need to strain our trapezius muscle. Before that, we connect the shoulder blades behind and relax, connect and relax. We make such 10 movements when our hands are. Connected the shoulder blades, hold for a second, relaxed, connected, relaxed, first position, second position. Stretch your legs, connect them, excellent. Lower your legs, follow me to the individual. Forward we did, back, forward, back. In this position, it's also better to make the full range of movements. Here, the handles are joined in front, the shoulder blades behind. Hands joined in front, shoulder blades behind. The hands are joined in front, the shoulder blades behind. The hands were moved back. That's how you stroll around. It's as if you went for a walk, joined your shoulder blades, moved your elbows forward, joined your shoulder blades, moved your elbows forward, put your hands behind your back on your buttocks, also do 10-15 movements, and thus relax the chest muscles and strain the muscles between the shoulder blades. Also, this chest muscle, tap it a little with your hand, just tap it to shake off its flabbiness. Old age, so that all the unnecessary adhesions, fibrosis, stop interfering with work from one side or another, you will feel how new fresh blood begins to circulate in your lymphatic circulatory system. And so, friends, the first part in which we eliminate the violation of lymph circulation is over. Now the second part, the most interesting, how to tighten these muscles, the muscles of the mouth, diaphragm. Look, the exercise is very effective and helps not only to tighten your second chin, make your second chin the first, translate it into the first category, chin two category we translate into the first, but also it helps to restore the correct position of the jaw. It helps those who have problems with diction because it also indirectly affects the muscles. The tongue itself will start moving better in your mouth and many other positive effects about which write in the comments after you started doing what else happened to you after you got acquainted with this exercise. And so, we have an upper jaw here. Here is the upper jaw and the palate. Let's illustrate for clarity. Here are our teeth, these front ones on top. Here is our mouth. Here are our teeth at the bottom. Here is our tongue. And now we need to press the tongue as hard as possible. Press as much of the tongue area as possible to the upper palate. That is, not only the tip of the tongue now, you need to press to the upper palate. But try to press as much of the tongue area as possible to the upper to make them touch. And keeping this position of the tongue, you now start to open your mouth. Here is the frenulum of the tongue itself. It will be stretched in this position. Someone will feel this tension, someone will not. Everything depends on the length of this frenulum. And at the same time as your jaw goes in it, the tongue remains in its place. This oral diaphragm will start to pull up. So friends show how it's done. Watch. The tongue is already pressed from the fact that the tongue is pressed. You can put your hands here in the area of your chin. Well, someone third can also put. Did you press your tongue and start to open your mouth? Someone will find it more convenient if you tilt your head a little upwards so that there is more amplitude of movement of your lower jaw. You may also feel tension in the area of all these muscles. Do such movement 10 times, then rest, then do three more sets. You need to do this exercise. You can do this movement throughout the day, but preferably when no one sees you. But if you're wearing a mask, you can do it more often. It helps to eliminate very well. Second chin. 
three, and even four. All these exercises need to be done, my dear subscribers, so that you are beautiful, healthy, and cheerful. I wish you to watch every video without missing, well, how did you like it? Write in the comments. Also write likes, comments, and see you in the new broadcast, dear friends.